Hello and welcome to Finalist 101. Youth Science Canada host team is composed of staff and national volunteers and is responsible for the overall success of the event. We provide support to the local host team. Local host team are volunteers and they have planned the local tours, social activities and the opening ceremonies. They will show you some great Fredericton hospitality. Ambassadors are a group of six Canada-wide science fair alumni who are here to help you have a great week. You will see them a lot in the exhibit hall, especially during judging. National Science Fair Committee is responsible for science fair policies. They organize delegate meetings, safety checks, and making sure everyone follows the rules. The National Judging Committee is responsible for judging. Board of Directors are here to support all of us. Together, we are Team UV. If you see someone wearing violet t-shirt or hoodie, they are part of Team UV and they are available to help you. Share your photos and experiences via social media. Make sure you use our hashtags. Be sure to download your Canada Wide Science Fair app. It will have all the latest Canada Wide Science Fair information, plus you can communicate with each other. To download, visit the iOS App Store, Blackberry World, or Google Play. The app is free. Tell your parents and friends to check out the blog for daily updates in the finalist and delegate section of our webpage or have them follow us on Facebook. If you need help, you should first try to find your delegate. You may also ask a member of Team UV. Remember, they will be wearing violet t-shirts or hoodies. You can also find help at the information booth in the exhibit hall or visit the host committee office in McConnell Hall. If you're not feeling well or get hurt, we can provide first aid in the exhibit hall and in the host committee office. In case of emergency, you will find an emergency number on the back of your name tag. Your name tag is extremely important. You must wear it at all times. It will give you access to the exhibit hall, the cafeteria, and allow you to participate in all the events and activities. If you're housed in Tibbetts Hall, Lady Dunn Hall, and Roy W. Kidd House, you are eating at Lady Dunn Hall. If you're staying at any of the other residences, you are eating at McConnell Hall. You will also find a schedule at the back of your pouch. Only finalists, judges, and ambassadors are permitted in the exhibit hall during judging. The doors of the exhibit hall will be secured at night, but take valuables such as computers and tablets with you. Don't forget to bring your water bottle on judging day. Hydration station will be located in the exhibit hall to refill your bottle. Finalists will be placed in groups and led by an ambassador to the various activities in the exhibit hall during public viewing, such as a speaker series and hands-on activities. Don't worry about leaving your project for this short period of time, but take your valuables with you during the rotation. A photo with your project will be taken. Be ready for your photo to be taken on Tuesday during judging. If required, your photo may also be taken on Thursday. These photos will be available in the online registration system by the end of the fair. Photos from the award ceremony will be available in June. Make sure you watch our Judging 101 videos in the exhibit hall or on our website to get ready for judging. Finalists are expected to support and cooperate with your regional team, adhere to the expectations set out by your delegates, attend and participate in all activities, be punctual at all times, attend their displays at all times during the period that the Canada-wide science fair is open to the public, ensure that their delegate knows at all times where they are and with whom, obtain their delegate's explicit permission before leaving the group, respect all curfews explained to them by their delegates. You need to respect the environment, the university, your peers, the delegates, the volunteers, and the judges. Curfew is for finalists' safety and health. Doors of the residence building will be locked at 10.30 p.m. sharp. 
be sure to be back in your building before the doors lock. You will have access to the wireless network on campus. Check your information booklet for all the details. A visa for fixing presentation material to the display material will be provided. For all the rules, check the website. To protect your display, we suggest that you stick packing tape on the back of your posters and then affix our adhesive to that tape. Bring your own packing tape. And remember, don't stand on chairs. During project takedown, you will be provided with instructions. Be sure to follow them carefully. Project takedown will begin at 12 noon. Do not begin until you hear the announcement.